What's up guys, I'm back with another video. This time I want to tell you guys about a credit card method that Money Man was talking about, but I want to add much more detail and also tell you how people with bad credit can do the same thing. He mentioned that the best way to do this method was to build your credit up first, but I know ways to get up to $5,000 with a credit score as low as 400. And if you have good credit, you can get up to $10,000. I think Money Man was more focused on the business side. He was saying you can build your personal credit up and then start a business and get business credit. But with this method, you don't need a business because you'll be using your personal credit. Credit. And he only mentioned the first part of this method, so I'm here to tell you the second part. I'll be using US Bank as an example because they have the highest approval odds for people with bad credit. So if you have bad credit, instead of applying for a traditional credit card, you have to apply for a secure credit card. With a secure credit card, you have to put a deposit down, and the deposit you put down will be your initial credit limit. For a US Bank secure credit card, the maximum is $5,000. In most cases, you get the deposit back within a year, plus you kind of get the money right back when the card arrives in the mail. If you have a good credit score, then you just want to apply for the regular credit card, which is an unsecured credit card. With the unsecured credit card, they'll give you a credit line and you don't have to put down any deposit. So if you have good credit, which starts at about a 670 or a 680, they'll offer you a $5,000 credit limit. The amount they'll offer you will be different based on your credit score. So if you have bad credit, you basically have to pay for a credit card, but you'll get it right back as soon as your card arrives in the mail. Does that make sense to you? Also, you could deposit a minimum of $300. So you don't have to deposit the whole $5,000, you can only deposit $300. Okay, so once your card arrives in the mail, you'll have $5,000 if you have good credit. And if you have bad credit and pay $5,000, then you got your money back. Now you have to use a payment service such as Cash App or PayPal and take the money off the credit card. And it's a good idea to make some larger transactions so any transactions in the future won't get a fraud alert. But instead, just appear like normal charges. Once you take the entire $5,000 off the credit card, all you have to do is pay it back. But when you do make a credit card payment, make sure that you're paying it from an account that has a zero balance. If you get a Chase checking account, they won't let any payment over $25 overdraft your account. Instead, the next day your account will be back to zero. But to keep from having to pay any overdraft fees or any money back period, I would still recommend to get a Chase Secure checking account. But the key is in most cases, even though the payment did not successfully go through, your credit card available balance will now have the money available to spend. You now have a full credit card again without really having to make a payment. Now you can take the money off again for a second time using a payment service like PayPal or Cash App. Remember, you made large transactions before, so now anything you do won't seem like a red flag. If your credit card gets frozen for any security reasons, just call customer service and they'll unfreeze it for you. Because they don't know that the payment didn't clear, so don't be afraid to call them. If you don't get the money off of the credit card when the money is available, then you'll lose it once they realize that the payment didn't clear. So now, if you have bad credit, then you got $5,000 back plus made a false credit card payment and got another $5,000 in profit. If your account closes for non-payment, then you'll only owe $5,000. If you have good credit, then you basically got $5,000 for free and then you made a false credit card payment and you got another $5,000, which is $10,000. Not bad for a few days of work and the longest part is waiting two to three weeks for the card to come in the mail. Some credit cards will only allow you to do this three times in six months before they close your account. It seems like every six months, everything resets and you can do this method two more times. The only credit card that I know for sure that won't close your account for doing too many unsuccessful payments is US Bank Secure Credit Card. Money Man mentioned this method, but he never mentioned repaying the credit Credit card and getting the money for the second time plus he didn't really go into detail about it i know that he gotta know a lot more than what he's saying but to be honest a lot of it is just common sense but i guess to maximize your money by doing this method is to build your credit score as high as possible once you do that you can get some very high personal credit card limits and then you can move on to the business credit cards and do the exact same thing i don't see why you can't use the money to put a down payment on a very nice house or even just buy one maybe even buy a car who knows do whatever you want to do if it was me, I would invest in something that's going to make more money, as in getting a car auction license and buy cars for a couple hundred and you can sell them for a couple of thousand. Selling cars online go crazy around tax time. But I just wanted to let you guys know about the second part to the credit card method. I was kind of wondering why Money Man didn't let you know. But once again, thanks to you guys and peace out.